that that's putting me on the spot. But also, mainly, it's because it's very hard to compare those actors, especially. They're all great in their own way. I mean, getting the opportunity to work with Molly and Brando in my lifetime, you know, is something I never would have dreamed of, and I got to play his daughter, and so that was tremendous. And um, De Niro was great, and he was so great in that role in Awakenings, and um, and then. Pacino and you know when Carlito's way I think for me that particular role for me was a great role and a great opportunity so in terms of that I would say you know working with Pacino because we had so much to do together um, in that film but honestly I mean you know and I love the freshman because I love comedy too so they were just such different films and awakenings you know it was hard to communicate because De Niro wasn't playing somebody who you would have that kind of community. But he was fantastic. So, um, you know, they're all great. I just feel very fortunate that I got the chance to work with such an amazing, such amazing talent. Well, the rat was really a rat. <laughs> and the kittens were kittens. Or no, they were never kittens. They were always a rat. What am I saying? I thought Brenda, my character, thought it was a kid. Um, but yeah, that it, that was that was. I guess it was somebody's pet rat. And maybe they had more than one. But I did hold the rat, so that was interesting. Um, it was just a really fun role. It was one of my first movies I've ever done, and really most of my scenes were alone, except for the rat and the homeless guy who tried to get in the phone booth and. I mean, some of the lines in those, in, in just the stuff I had to do alone, you know, was, was pretty memorable. Um, you know, when I'm kicking, when, when I'm on the phone and the homeless guy says, you're in my house, you know, house, and then I said, you just moved. <laughs> I kick his, his spam and his slippers out. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was just, it was a lot of fun, and I think that movie kind of was a surprise hit, too. It kind of slowed it took off and nobody expected it to do as well as it did so it was fun to be a part of it. I had auditioned to play the Elizabeth Shue character but they already had her in mind and wanted to hire her so then there was the role of her best friend so I had to come back in and read but not looking as nice as she does so I could look like we could play opposite rather than be you know the same kind so I kind of came in a lot more nerdy I wore glasses I had my hair so I was wearing big sweats, and um, but actually I was glad that I got to play that role because I think it was a really fun, funny role. Well, I actually, that's not true. I actually was in Chaplin, and in Chap, even though Chaplin's not a silent film, but I played Edna Proviance, one of the actresses that Chaplin works with, and we actually did a reenactment of one of. Chaplin's movie, so I actually did a silent movie. So I already was a veteran silent movie actress. Most people that probably came in for that, for the artist, did not uh, did not know that uh, that I I probably was one of the few, if not only, that had done a silent film before. But uh, I did have some experience, and um, but. You know, it was challenging in that, I mean, a lot of people don't, they're like, what was it like not talking? And I'm like, no, we're talking, you just can't hear us. So we were allowed to have dialogue with each other. It wasn't like we were mouthing our words. Um, it's just there was no sound. <clears throat> but what, what Michelle did, our director, uh, he played music in when we were shooting because you wouldn't hear it on the film and it created a mood and an atmosphere and I thought that was really a kind of a genius idea that he may have gotten from other filmmakers in the past who used to do silent films but um, but I think playing music to create a, a tone or a feeling um, and then just it helping in the costumes and the sets everybody below the line was kind of above the line I mean they were all incredible uh, artists in their own craft and so we just got really lucky I mean it was weird because I we didn't I didn't know who Michelle was I didn't know Jean de Jardin I didn't know Be Bernice Beju and they were the main people in the show I mean I knew John Goodman was and um, and and so 
just to take part in it, there were people that actually didn't want to do the film when it, they were casting it in L.A. because they were scared. It was sort of daunting, the notion of being in a silent black and white film and who was going to go see it. But I love old movies. I'm a big old movie buff. So to me, it was kind of a really fun, exciting opportunity and challenge. And then the fact that the movie, I mean, we thought it'd be maybe a cool independent film that maybe would play in, like, art artsy theaters but the fact that it you know took Hollywood and the world by storm and then we won five Academy Awards was huge you know you never know well luckily because I've had the career I've had I, I don't always have to audition that's number one which is awesome because if I can get offered something and not have to read for it, I'd much prefer that. Um, and if I've ever been, if I've been in a situation where I do have to read um, for a director or whatever, I mean, yeah, you get nervous. I mean, now, now the industry's changed so much that people see your tapes, they're self tapes, so you're not even in the room with the director or the actor. So it's it's really changed. And I think about young actors not having that experience of going in the room and building those relationships, working with the director, having him change maybe the way you do the scene, and, and also having chemistry reads. I mean, I hope that will change because I think it's really important to have that. Um, but that is a little bit more nerve-wracking because the one thing about a self-tape is that you get to, you get to do it, keep doing it until you feel good about it. So if you go up on your line or something like that. But you don't get that that essence of being in that room, you know, that visceral uh, feeling. And I don't, and I think it doesn't help for casting, in my opinion, um, to not be able to see the, the actor in person and only see them on a little screen that they filmed from their iPhone. I loved, um, I loved The Godfather 1 and 2. I loved um, It's a Wonderful Life. Wizard of Oz. Um, I love Terms of Endearment. I love The Way We Were. I love Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I mean, they're all so different.